My name is Nab Bhatia, also known as the Raptors Super Fan. Welcome to another British TV Live, and today we're joined by someone who actually caught me off guard because had I known I was going to go live with him, I would have actually worn my Raptors jersey. But today, I haven't got it, and I'm so, so gutted, but this individual is not just an iconic figure for, you know, Asians and Sikhs in business, but he's made his mark in the NBA, and, and you know what, one day I'm going to see him in the NBA Wall of Fame, but now, super fan, welcome to British TV, how you doing? Yes, Sashika to everyone and uh, hello. Uh, thank you for having me on. No, no, it's our pleasure. You know what? You're, you're somebody that we've, we wanted to get on for a very, very long time. And now we're not just going to have you on here, but we're hearing you're touching down in London in the next week or so for the British Indian Film Festival. So, you know, it's going to be awesome to kind of see you down. And look, we're doing something over Zoom, but we're definitely going to have to do something in person. But I was like, look, while we've got you on Zoom, let's just make the most of it and kind of catch up and see what you've been up to. Yes, I'm very excited. I'm going to be in uh, uh, my movie, uh, Nab Bhatia. The story of Superfan is going to be aired in uh, 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 in London on uh, July the 3rd at uh, BFI. And uh, it will be the closing gala film. And then on the 5th, I will be. it will be in Birmingham. And on the 6th, it will be in Manchester. And I cannot tell you how excited I am to be there among all of you guys. Did you honestly think when you got involved in watching, you know, sports and things like that, that, you know, a film would be made of you? Like, you know, I've followed your journey and like, you know, your daughter talks a lot about yourself and social media. So from you know, where you started from just being a fan, like your daughter, she say, you said, like the fan that was kind of distracting the opposition, throwing his towel in the air. From there to now, where you've got, you know, a film that's going to be showcased, you know, across the UK and even wider. No, you know, no, how, no. How, how does that make you feel? Sage, let me tell you, it makes me feel, I still pinch myself, by the way. I still, yeah. because this is not a fan is supposed to have. A fan is supposed to go to the games and uh, just that their team gets the championship. You don't, you don't dream or even think about it that you're going to be the grand marshal of the biggest parade with 9.5 people. You don't uh, uh, think of that you're going to be getting the championship ring, which every player get. And then to be beat it all, to be in the Hall of Fame, first fan in any sports to be in the Hall of Fame. You cannot think about it. I mean, forget about dreaming. You can't even think about it. And God has blessed me with all those things. It's amazing that I have been able to do, but this is because of the love of the fans, the organization and everybody. And I'm just using this moment now to bring everybody together through the game of basketball. And look, you, 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 you've you missed one important factor. You're best friends with Drake now. You know what I mean? How many people can say they're good friends with Drake and you are <laughs> good friends with Drake? Is, is that a big deal also? The big yeah. Uh, yeah, Drake is my... I known Drake before he was Drake. You know when he used to come to the game and he was he was in a movie, he was in a television show, and he used to come to the. He was a fan of just like me. You know he used to come to the super fan, and now he has become a super guy. He's the superhero. He's a great great ambassador for Canada and for the game of basketball in Canada for the Raptors. So I'm blessed to have him. Uh, he's our global ambassador and I'm the South Asian ambassador. So, you know, I work with him and uh, it's a, it's fun to be working with this young guy, Drake. You know? Awesome. And I think one, and I think a very important kind of thing that, you know, we need to kind of address and kind of really put to the forefront is the identity of Sikhs. You know, you were the star, you know, you, it's something that not mainstream media is aware of. That, you know, Sikhs are a very, we're a very, very young religion at the end of the day. You have also kind of encouraged and promoted yeah. the Sikh faith through your image. And if you look at it, like how many now, now we're starting to see a lot of Indian players make it and come forward. Like, you know, you had Satnam Singh and those boys, you know, they kind of were the first ones to kind of break it. But you've also been a factor in the breakage of new South Asian sports players after their Sikhs and pushing that game forward. And you're seeing a lot more kind of Sikh young youth taking the sport up and seeing that they have representation. You know, you're not just a fan at the end of the day. You are a kind of, you know, you could argue you are a role model because you're in the position to open doors to barriers. Like, how does that make you feel? 
well it makes me feel very blessed and i'm very humbled so talking about my dastar and the beard and all that let me tell you something uh, uh that uh, when i was 16 years old i i my mom who was a jathedarni who was a very strict we have four brothers so she was a she was a strict lady and one day when i turned 16 around there she called me and he says put hun tenu na main tin cheez i'm asking you for three things i said what are those three things and I, you know she said i don't want you to cut i don't want to smoke and i don't want you to drink and i tell you i i promised her at that time in uh, 1968 and i'm still keeping that and it's not easy at times because uh, but i kept my promise and you will see in this movie this movie is dedicated to my mother and my promise to her so this gives me the strength and to represent all the sikhs all over the world but not just the sikhs so i relate to all the kids but yes i'm bringing our community integrated with the mainstream through the game of basketball every and be a player knows about the turban beard and the kada and all that we have been able to yeah. do that i know i think that's you know it's, it's absolutely commendable you know and i think you know i don't think you get enough credit for what you do but the fact that you're very very humble kind of you know adds to you know the specialness of what nab super fan is now you know if we try to talk about your family you know they've been involved in this journey as well you know how has your family felt like you know seeing this film come together seeing this project come together because you know your daughter she's quite you know active on social media she has her own presence her own businesses etc you know how have your family found this kind of journey been as well like you, we know they've been supportive but did they ever kind of see that this film yeah, would come well i i want to tell you that i'm not going to brag standing here in front of you on all the english media and say that my marriage is so strong during this journey there were times that my marriage was just hanging by the string because i missed my wife's birthday i missed her wedding anniversaries i missed other events because raptors game was my priority everything in my life is around the raptors schedule so it was not but now since uh, the things are coming good with the uh, with the social work we are able to do we are building washrooms in india for the girls to continue their education and uh, i think i get a lot of support from my daughter who is herself a youtuber and she is in the movie also my wife who is our rock you know who's our backbone you know and she without her it wouldn't have been possible to do everything which i've been able to do i wouldn't be a super fan if my wife and daughter didn't support and you know the fact that you've been really honest and transparent about it kind of again says a lot about yourself like how many people would admit you know that they missed their wife's birthday how many people would admit that you know it took a toll on their marriage and i think you know you bring it to the forefront shows that you know sometimes you have to sacrifice things to kind of get to where you want to be but realistically the support network around you is what keeps you together you know and i think it's absolutely commendable for that but let's talk a little bit about england like have you been to the uk before or is this going to be the first time visiting I love UK. I I just I was there two times. I came with the Raptors uh, when the Raptors played there. Uh, they played the Nets, I believe, and then I was there also for an award ceremony. I was a guest there, and uh, you know, uh, for a few days I've been there, and I'm always, uh, uh, you know, I just saw Sally to be her uh, the seventy her seventieth uh, year as a queen, yeah. and it's all good, you know. Uh, I I'm really excited to be there. and be uh, you know with all you guys i hope after the movies there will be a q and a and i get a lot of questions asked there you know about the journey and about i'm excited actually my wife is excited and my daughter is excited we are all excited to be there you know what we when you guys come down we're definitely going to make time for all of you guys in the studio and you know what we're going to have a proper chat because you know what i don't think having a conversation over zoom we can justify enough and obviously time is of the essence but believe we will come to link up with that as well now let's talk about music obviously we're a music channel we talk about punjabi music um how, what who is your favorite punjabi singer uh punjabi singer has to be you know there are a couple but gurdas man ji is my favorite singer yeah and favorite song uh well you know uh, all his songs are you know they 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 make so much uh, sense you know and they touch you you know um uh, there are beautiful songs his compositions are very good and also you know 
because I know him personally also. I've gotten to know him during the championship run. He was one of the guys who called me to congratulate me. For, I never knew him. I only knew his music. But he called me and then he invited me to Mumbai to his place where I was visiting India for the first NBA game in Mumbai. I, he invited me for a dinner at his place and I got to uh, know him. So a lot of uh, love for him and his family. I think the next milestone for you is to get Gadas Martin on a halftime show. NBA game, Raptures, bring Gadas Martin down and make history with that. That <laughs> will take Nav to the next level. And you know what? I'll come down for that as well. well you, but Nav, you know, the only, yeah, you know, you're right. We were working because Mika has also offered to play in that. But, uh, you know, sometimes it's very these super singers, superstars. It's difficult to fit them in seven minutes of halftime. But God yeah. willingly, we will happen. Uh, you know, there are a lot of other singles, you know, like Hans Raj Hans is an amazing singer also. I, I I love his music also. I'm an old type, you know, I'm an older guy. So those are the type of music I hear. Well, you've heard it here first. Nav is even going to bring Mika Singh or Gadasma to the NBA Hard Time Show, guys. You heard it, British TV exclusive. All right, Nav, we are running out of time. You know, we've got so much to talk about. We'll definitely link up when, obviously, you come down to the studio. I'm going to wear my Rapture shirt. You know, make sure you wear yours as well. But last kind of final thoughts and closing thoughts, you know, what's your kind of message to, you know, everyone watching the young youngsters who are trying to break into sports? So obviously in the UK, whether it's into football, whether it's into any other sports, you know, who have been the start, who, you know, are practicing Sikhs. What is your message to them? Well, not just the people who are just wearing the, the star and having the beard. I think everybody, every kid, and not just the Sikhs, everybody, if you need a, if you know a Caucasian guy, you need a black, you know a black guy, bring him along to this movie. Because at the end of the day, after about 50 minutes of this movie, I believe it will inspire you. It will increase the love. Uh, it will bring one love in all of us. And that's what I want everybody to come. If the movie is playing in London on July the 3rd, July the 5th in Birmingham, and July the 6th in Manchester, please, please tell everybody to come get your tickets now. And I believe you will enjoy the movie. And when I come to uh, England, I hope that you give me enough time in the studio so that I can talk to, we can do a Q&A with the people, with, the, with, the, with, with your listeners, with the young guys. I want to answer to their question. I want to learn from them and I want to share my journey with them. So it will be all fun, fun, fun. That's it. Nav, thank you so, so much for taking time out. I know you are a super busy guy. I will definitely meet up at the Indian Film Festival. And you know what? We'll talk some more then. All right, Nav, take care. From British TV, guys, thanks for joining. And we'll speak soon. My name is Nab Bhatia, also known as the Raptors Super Fan. Super Fan!